Hey everyone, so today's vlog is going to be a book review. I just finished All I Need by Suzanne Cole Austin and she read, and I read a couple of her books. I read Keep Holding On and Waiting For You, or I think I just read Waiting For You, but um, I did a book review before on her and you guys loved my book reviews so I figured I will continue. And I just finished this. It took me a couple weeks to read because uh, I haven't read like every day because I've been working so much which is why I'm not vlogging a lot because we're in the process of moving stores. But there are 26 chapters and what I really liked about this book is she, I don't think I've ever read a book of hers that changed point of views. Like each chapter would be called either Sky or Seth and they're the main characters in this book. And I'm going to read to you the inside like I do in every book review. So let's get started. Sky wants to meet the boy who will change her life forever. Seth feels their instant connection the second he sees her. When Seth starts talking to Sky at the last beach party of the summer, it's obvious to both of them that this is something real. But when Seth leaves her college before they exchange contact inf info, Sky wonders if he feels the same way she did and if she will ever see him again. Even if they find their way back to each other, can they make a long distance relationship work despite trust issues, ex drama, and some serious background differences? So I really like this and each chapter, like I said before, was either of Seth's point of view or Sky. So chapter one had like Sky and then what I really like is they put like a little quote at the bottom and it says bring on the night and these chapters are super short which is why there are 27 of them and i really like the short chapters and i do like how they change points of views the only weird thing that i figured out was in sky's point of view it was this font and then when it changed to seth's point of view it was like a weirder not a little weird font like a different font so I don't know if you could tell with the camera, but I really liked her author. I love her writing. She describes stuff so good, like the beach, and it was just a great relationship book. Like, they fall in love. It's like a summer romance book, and I just love her author. And the next book that I'm gonna read is not by her, actually, because I wanna see this movie that's coming out. It's The Fault in Our Stars by Jean Green, and I realized it's coming out into a movie. My sister read it, and she loved it. My mom read it, and I'm going to read this next, so if you want to see a book review on this, let me know in the comment section below. And I know this was sh super short, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. And don't forget to comment, subscribe, follow me on my social media sites, and I'll see you guys very soon. Love you guys. Bye.